Hey, what is going on guys? This is Wicked Android HD and tonight I'm going to be showing you how to flash the latest Phoenix ROM version 11. Why am I so excited? Hmm. It was one of my first how to flash tutorials made on this channel. Tamirdas ROM. He got himself in the light with the S6 port. S5 port, sorry, on the Galaxy S4. So this is uh, his first Lollipop release after uh, the success he had with uh, the 4.4.2 KitKat variant. So all you have to do first is to get into recovery and then make a full wipe. So wipe user and system data. And I'll get back to you guys with the Aroma Installer. Stay tuned. Starting Aroma Installer Phoenix ROM. Version 11 OF2 Device S6. What the heck? No, is the S4 version. OF2 is an S4 firmware. So it was rebuilt from base, which is good. Improve XT4 performance. Yes. Uh, 3G tweaks, net speed tweaks. Cedar to provide significant ra lag reduction, scrolling tweaks, flash LED video streaming tweaks. Touch with stock, do you want to install or maybe 5 or 6 this one. Install launcher team ECS. Nope, nope. Phoenix Boot Animation, yes, S6 AccuWeather, yes, S6 Keyboard, S6 S Browser, S6 U User Interface. Apps that you won't install, I won't install nothing, I will install nothing. So I'll get back to you guys after I configure my Galaxy S4 running to mirror this. Phoenix ROM version 11. Stay tuned. Okay, guys, I'm back here running Tamirdis latest Phoenix ROM. About device 5.0.1 Phoenix ROM version 11. First thing that I noticed was the speed and the smoothness of this ROM along with the stock kernel settings Hulk kernel S Twix you wanted Antutu benchmark here you have Antutu benchmark this is the score You can compare your scores here. So this is the score. 24,641. It is right here, right down below Xiaomi Redmi 1 and uh, Sh Xiaomi Mi 2. Just bef before the HT HTC 1. Let's dive into some apps and see how it uh, forms because it also matters the user interface smoothness. Themes are working. As you may have already observed, I have installed this theme. 
contacts, messages. The most important thing that I found in this ROM is uh, this Phoenix Extra settings which is some kind of uh, an exposed module lets you personalize the clock position as you may see I set it to clock to I set it to center you can customize the backgrounds battery icon settings it has 3 minute battery mode you can customize the how many signal bars you want just like in the one on exposed module apart from that you can customize notification panel backgrounds toggle colors you can make them um, black I think yeah you may see again black black yeah black general mods lock screen mods add on saps the scrolling is bothersomely smooth no problems at all you have here to ultra poor saving mode toolbox multi window I have themed these here and now they look a little bit strange not such a big deal um, power saving download booster ultra power saving mode let's get into this just to show that it's working enable Sorry, I'm so tired, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. Disable auto power saving mode. So it's working perfectly. Sorry if, if the device is shaky. As I told you, I'm a little bit tired. So toolbox is working. multi window manager is working the camera is the stock one from Samsung Galaxy S4 clock app S planner calculator yeah A lock screen let me show you the lock screen this is the lock screen I think it benefits of all uh, lock screen effects let me go into lock screen dual clock no. unlocking effect, ink in water oh my god spring, summer, autumn winter let's check out the winter because I miss winter so much Yeah. real cool thing feature or whatever you will call is the festival effect so if you're into summer for example or if you're waiting for autumn and it's first of November or first of October you'll get some really interesting effects like lock screen effects, event notification, message effects so as I showed here the winter lock screen effect so if you're in winter it will automatically change to the winter effect which is very cool in my opinion and yeah sorry guys I have to end up this review here I hope you like it if you did please thumbs up and subscribe right down to my channel I'll put a link in the description with the uh, XDA thread where you will be able to find the download link and uh, yeah Thank you for watching, Rick Android is out guys, bye bye.